I almost forgot your <laughs> newspaper. Thanks. But here it is. So how's it going, Mr. Holland? Oh, uh, well, all right. How's Mrs. Holland? She's fine. You still making lawnmowers? No, you... Geez, it must be swell working with blades. No, you see, I'm an accountant. Uh, I, I, I don't make... I'm an accountant, Gus. Good night, Mr. Holland. Good night, Gus. Say hello to Mrs. Holland. Oh, yes. Don't worry, I won't forget to pay for tomorrow night. Walter. Let me help ya. God, you're getting so much money. Don't forget it. We got poor tons. Tons of money. Hey, mister, how about your change? You left a... Ah, uh, you're a good boy. Yes, so my mommy's told me, but just wait a minute. I'm... Nah, you're a good boy. 25 bucks? Wow, well, don't complain, pal. Uh, who's complaining? <laughs> Walter, will you come on? You've had enough. I, I like that bar. Walter, please, come on. I want to. Oh, Walter, get up. I want to come on. Come on, Walter. I like that. Just a little further. Come on. Walter. Wanda. 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 Nice night for a big hot plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Mm -hmm. I stopped a Nazi bullet in 45. Yeah, buddy. You weren't the only one. My wife ran off with my best friend. I haven't eaten in five days. You a vet? You know, I stopped buddy, a bullet... Buddy, you want to do me a favor? Don't bother. It's an old song. Yeah, another hour. Listen. You ever been down on your luck? Now, I couldn't help overhearing. If you don't want that cash, I could sure use it. What? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You could use it. But you don't think I've got the imagination to know how to spend it. Oh, yeah, but I've got a kid sister. She needs a, an operation for pink eye. Pink eye? <laughs> Judas Priest. Hey, buddy, you want to watch the back wheel? Wouldn't want to give you any more problems than you've already got. Oh. Perfect. You get the hat, and I get to go home. Ah, come on. Hey. Maybe you could sell it back to So you, uh, got the shoes, huh? Do you want applesauce? We're having pork chops and sauerkraut. Pork chops? I'm surprised we're not having macaroni again. God damn it, Lillian, I knew you were gonna do that. Every Saturday morning, standing in front of that store window with your, your tongue hanging out. Now I know I gotta keep my eye on you. I mean, where do you think you're gonna wear those things? I think they're pretty. I suppose now I gotta check what's at the bottom of the shopping bags, huh? I didn't buy them with your money. You need your money to go down to Taddy's bar on Friday. Hey. Hey, do I give you the change to buy those ridiculous romance novels? The change for, uh, for lipstick, for nail po those magazines? I mean, do I or do I not give you the money? Big deal. What? Well, I do, don't I? Don't forget the picture shows. Well, then that too. 
So I need a drink. And that's where Leon is on a Friday, right? He certainly is. And on Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, how would you like it if I was down there every night? I mean, that'd be just swell, wouldn't it? I guess so. What? You want to put that out? Your dinner's going to get cold. So, uh, where did you get the money if it wasn't grocery money? I have some money of my own. I wish you wouldn't do that. It makes me seasick. Where are you going? Milk. So where did you get the money for the shoes? If you can remember, Mother left us some money when Daddy died. I put that money in the bank. Not all of it. What? What's the big idea? What are you doing? Uh, uh, somebody was at the milk again last night. What? All right. OK, that's it. That is the fifth time in two weeks. Nobody puts their ugly lips around my bottle of milk and gets away with it. God damn it. God damn it, Lillian. I'm sorry, Harlan. I guess I'm just not a nice person. Oh. <clears throat> it's somebody right in this house. Hey, nobody gets in that lobby door after midnight. The milkman comes between 5.15 and 6.15 like clockwork. Long Egg gets in at 7, but he doesn't unlock the goddamn door to lay. Huh? Well, then, Jesus Christ, figure it out, Lillian. It's one of our neighbors. Harlan, you're so suspicious. Suspicious. I'm suspicious. Did you ever uh, stop to think that it just might be one of the Contessa's cats? Oh. No, no, no goddamn cat's got a tongue that long. Touche. What? Well, you notified the milkman. I talked to Larry about it. His name is Lawrence. You know, maybe if you and the other wives in this house uh, would call him by his real name, maybe you'd do a better job around here. He's a nice man, Harlan. Give him a break. He is a lousy super, and his name is Lawrence Longick, and now that's it. Harlan, please. Let's I... just forget about the milk. There doesn't seem to be any way of stopping it. I mean, you should call him Mr. Law. What? The milk. It'll stop. Let's just ignore it. There's no way of stopping Oh, it. yes, there is. And I'm going to get that son of a bitch. Oh, 
Oh, my God, Harlan. And I'm going to tell you something, Lillian. I'm going to stop that son of a bitch. Patties, where else? Harlan, you want another drink or what? Listen, I, I really gotta go. Mm -hmm. Okay, buddy. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow night. It does look nice on you. Hmm. Well, I've only seen you wear it twice. Once last Christmas, and once the Easter mom token Butch came over. Yeah, well, I'm wearing it now, aren't I? Well, no thanks to your old lady. doing? Just wait a minute. Get it? You gotta look twice to see this stuff, especially out in that hallway. But it's strong. You know, it'll cut the skin if you pull it tight. Hey! One good jerk on this and I got that jerk.
honey. What? Turn out the light. That's funny, isn't it? Now that's goddamned impossible, I'd say. Hey, what's that, Harlan? Oh, now, uh, now tomorrow night, Lillian, Lillian won't leave the goddamn bedroom, will she, Lil? You promise never to call me that. Yeah, you, uh, you get my message. You promise never to call me that. Yeah, well, I, I don't want to talk about that. Please, no more. Look, you got a home now, don't you? I mean, I pay for your things, right? Well, don't I? Talk like you picked me up off the street. Yeah, well, maybe... Maybe I'd be better off. Look, I, uh... I gotta get the train. The trains run all the time. I know you're in there. Your world is filled with laughter, Mr. Larry. And uh, my small domain will be as bright as yours quite soon. Well, what can I do for you? Do you believe in miracles? Well, when I was eight, my dog, Rabbit, came home after being lost for three weeks. A dog named Rabbit? <gasps> How queer. Well, he was all white. <laughs> my dearest friends, the Baron and the Baroness of saint emilion are visiting me for the weekend. That's truly a miracle. Well, I thought they were here last Friday. But, Mr. Larry, I forgot that their vessel was waylaid in, in Havana. Oh, yeah, now I remember. How stupid of me. But then you do recall. <laughs> well, that's your business up and down in the hallways from morning till night. <laughs> Shall we celebrate their imminent arrival, Mr. Larry, with some champagne <laughs> and perhaps some baklava? Well, I just finished my salami and cheese. But if you'd like me to roll a carpet... Uh, you know, I'm inviting Mr. Harlan to tell my, my dearest friends about his lives before. In the distant places the Emperor took me to. Hi. Come have coffee. I just made bread pudding, too. Shall we? All right, now, this is the layout of my house. Now, well, I mean, except bigger. You know, 
Now, here's the setup. Decoy bottle in the hall. Hmm? String around, well, full, of course. String around the neck, okay. The string goes around the door, through the kitchen, avoiding all obstacles. Now, see, this is very important. Avoiding any obstacles. Huh? Okay, through the kitchen, through the living room, into the bedroom, where I got the string tied around my finger like this. Huh? And you better believe it can hurt when you jerk it, because this stuff is used for fishing. Huh? Right? Okay. Now, this son of a bitch. Well, excuse the language, Evelyn, but I mean, this thing has really got me pretty sore. Anyway, where was it? Uh, I wait for the milkman, right? McGillica Dairy Guy comes, and then, you see, this guy's been sneaking out, and there goes my milk. But now, <laughs> he picks up the bottle, jerking the string, jerking my finger, and I get out there, and I nail him. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it for that son of a bitch, too. It's like a detective story. You know, Evelyn, I think you're beginning to get the idea. But if the milkman leaves another bottle, mm -hmm. how do you know the culprit will take the right one? Don't you have some work to do? But life's so dull, Larry. There's only two things I really care about. Matinees on Friday with you and my flowers. It's not good enough for you. You know, one of these days, all the movies are going to be on television. Yeah. Well, I guess I better get going. How to Marry a Millionaire with Betty Bacall and Marilyn Monroe. Mm -mm. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go next Friday. I, uh, I bought the red shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Will be on me. Thanks, Larry. Pleasure was all mine. Don't forget. If I fall asleep, if you hear a milkman, get me awake. Lillian? Yes, Harlan, I'm here. Get me awake, but don't make any noise. Now, you got that? It's very important. I'm right here. Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. I'll do it like they do it in the movies. Yeah, good. What do you mean, Lillian? I'll put my hand over your mouth. Oh. The knife in your back.
Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> it's just a bottle of milk. Oh. You think it's just a bottle of milk, huh? Truly. Well, it's more than a goddamn bottle of milk. I can't sleep. Why bother? Every night, keeping me and my wife awake. Your wife? Your wife? Your wife? <laughs> what are you talking about my wife, you son of a bitch? I've seen you. You never go out. You never take your wife out. I've never seen you take her. Never. Never seen your shit. Take your damn shit. Okay, you punk. You want to give me some more? Come on. Get out of here. Get up. Okay, get up. Take the goddamn milk and get out of here. Hey, look, I'm talking to you.
Oh, Be right there. That hot coffee out here bubbling away? I keep it just below boil. Sit down here and tell me about the weather. What can I tell you, Larry? <sighs> Got a little sugar in your bowl? How's the rest of that song go? Too hot. Well, uh, let me put a little cream in there. Nothing. Oh, 
guess you just have to blow on it. Okay. Bread pudding. What? Sorry, didn't mean to say the magic word, but I love bread pudding. Look, we're moving. Going to tea neck. Now, I've had it with this hellhole, and I want you to start packing in the morning. Is this Myers doing? When are you going to ask me what? Myers has got nothing to do with it. I got to buy a car now, too. What about our precious five year lease you have all sewed up? All right, so there's two left. Look. <laughs> Honey, admit it. I mean, this place isn't good enough for us anymore. Jesus, Harlan. I tried to make it nice. The bedroom's practically brand new. No, it, it, it's a year old. So is everything I have to no, wear. Please, don't start bawling. I, I have friends here. I like the grocer. Like, who? like that dingbat Contessa woman? Just because you haven't taken the time to get to know any of our neighbors. Right, look, I'm calling the van. Now do the goddamn dishes and start packing. Now there's no sense putting this off. No, Harlan. You do the goddamn dishes and start packing. I'm going downstairs and talk to Larry. Find out about this lease. Don't test me, Lillian. Do not test me! Damn it. I knew at the least the goddamn stupid lease! Oh, that lousy bum. <laughs> Not only a thief, but a, a peeping Tom. Well, that's that.
くあって。おが。あつさなもんめっちゃ。This is impossible. I mean, there's got to be a way. Mr. Holland, your coffee. Yeah. Mr. Myers asked me to please see to the ball bearing accounts. Yeah, yeah. No! Are you all right? God, Holland, are you okay? Should I get the nurse? Is it your heart? No, God damn it! Just uh, clean up the slop. Look, I told you this morning, I don't take milk anymore. What the hell is everybody around here, an amnesiac or something? And the name is Mr. Harlan. There's no reason to get familiar, because you think I'm having some son of a bitch and heart attack. I'm... Look, please, just, just clean up this slop. I got work to do. Maybe I'd better call the nurse, just in case. Now, forget it. I'm working. Look, see how I'm back at work. Well, uh, what might be the problem, Mr. Harlan? Well, it, it, it's got nothing to do with you or anybody, for that matter. You see, it's, it's just that me and Mrs. Harlan... I mean, there comes a time in a man's life, you know, when he thinks about passing on his own mortality. Uh, the Bible says, he who throws his seed upon the ground will reap the fruit of, um... What is it? Uh, in, in, infertility, like that. I mean, words to that effect, but you know what I mean. What I'm trying to say is that a lawn is a lawn, you know, and, and a, uh, a street's a street with cars. With cars, tell them that. See the way she behaves? Yeah, I, I certainly you've noticed. The Contess is mad for you. Well, she gives me the creeps. Have you ever had a conversation with her? Well, now, don't tell me you can understand what she's talking about. Yeah, somewhere along the line, something, somebody knocked all the furniture over upstairs. Yeah. Anyway, what? What? Oh, yeah, she's nuts. Now, listen. Well, that reminds me, I've got to get to work on this apartment. Paint the place, hang a door. Landlord's got some folks coming around this weekend. What, this? Now, you let me know if I'm bothering you or Mrs. Harlan. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My wife. It's coming by at 8 o'clock to straighten this thing out. I ain't got to go out. What am I going to tell him? Tell him I, ha I had to go to the hospital because I made an appointment for a checkup. The hospital? The hospital? Well, Harlan, you know how fast it hit Daddy. The most important test for your heart is that little black thing with the dial.
Let's go see her. Harry, Harry, you're a really good friend of mine. I'm right? your best friend. Oh, I'm, I'm I know your that. Best friend. I know that, Harry. Mm -hmm. Now listen, it's Lillian's and my, it's our anniversary tonight. Right, mm -hmm. seven years tonight. Now look, I was supposed to take her out to dinner. Could you please? I, you can't give me a bottle off the shelf. I know that, but Obviously. I know you. You drink the same stuff that I do, and you've got a bottle. Seagrams, you got a pint of Seagrams under this bar. Is that right, Harry? Am I right or wrong? Yeah, yeah. So what? I want to buy it. I tell you what, you get your ass out of here, you can have it. You deal. won't let me buy it? No, it's okay. a deal, right? Pack it, pack it. Put it in a, in a, in a, in a you know. I tell you what I'm going to do. You put it in your coat. I don't have bags. All right. All right. You're not going to let me pay for it, right? No. Just tell the little right. lady it's on me. Okay, well, this is a tip. She's Don't argue with me. She's a nice her. girl. I, I should treat her nice. Yeah. No, listen, you keep this. Harry, that's a tip. Tips I need. Okay. Okay. I'll see you, uh... No fishes? No. Yes. I, I'll see you. Oh, Harry. No, really. Mm. Here you go. I want to go home. Right, I'm leaving. Last call was a half an hour ago. Harry. Okay. What a friend's fool. Mm. There's a man in my room. He smells like a brewery. Yeah, there's a whore in my room. Who washed herself with a lot of cheap perfume.
Hey, Lillian. Hey, Lillian. You look like a Billy dancer. Yeah? Yeah. What are you gonna do about it, sailor? Have another drink. I've heard some men can't face their lives without a drink. <laughs> How else am I going to beat this stinking cold? Some men wouldn't be out walking around in the cold if they had something better to do. Hey, uh, break my leg! Oh, all right, all right, all right. Here. I'm sorry. Have a drink. You're going to need an ice bag in the morning. Screw the morning. What about me? Take a pee. Is that all it's good for? What's with all this messy kissing? Why don't you kiss like a lady? Why don't you go sleep in the bathtub? All you learned how to do in the Navy was wash behind your ears. <clears throat> you know, I think I'm constipated. Okay, March, and oh, Lus, right. you heard me, Billy. Come on. Iris, take your thumb out of your mouth. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Could you direct us to 3E, the available apartment? No, no, no. See, you, you must have the wrong building. Uh, 424 Montgomery Avenue, apartment 3E. No, no, no. Look, you want 429. See, it's across the street. It's a tall brick building across... Now, you just... No, you go right back there. You... Mr. Harlan! Uh -huh. Wishes you a favor. That suit of yours, oh my God, is no bigger than a thumbnail sketch. The fresh green door over there. <gasps> That's the one. Look, there are no apartments available in this building, I'm telling you. That's worth a try anyway. No, it, it, I'm telling you, the super told me just yesterday that he had rented Sir, this apartment. I'm pretty sure this is what we know. It's too small for all of you anyway. It's just... It's okay, Arlen. I'll take care of this. I'm... Mr. and Mrs. Lewis. Ooh, been pretty busy, I see. Oh, well, I might say that, yeah. Well, come on in, we'll have a look. Okay. Okay, everybody in. No, it's... Hey, Lewis, how are you doing? I don't know. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so then, then... And then, then this other guy comes uh, walking in off the street, you know, looking to get laid, and, and he goes up to the desk and he says, uh, Hey, mister, mister, your sign fell down. Huh? <laughs> your sign fell down? <laughs> Come on, William, that's... <laughs> I mean... I'll, uh, I'll tell you why my, uh, my little red rooster will crow for you. You know, it's because... you got no sense of humor. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry that was a bad joke. You know? I know. <laughs> Wasn't that bad? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> It's a lady to see you, Mr. Harlan. You don't have the keys. I mean, you don't live there. How do you... There's a lady to see you, Mr. Harlan. But right, look, I, I'm gonna, uh... I gotta stay late tonight, uh, Later than the janitor, even. But it's Friday, Mr. Harlan. Nobody expects you to catch up on a Friday. Oh, yeah, the almighty dollar. That's all they care about. Your lady friend's waiting. Shall I show her in? Uh, a Miss C. Gofka. She's very nice. She has an accent. I don't know anybody named Gofka. Now, please, just tell her I left. But she can hear us right now. Tell her I left. Go right in. you suffer, Mr. Harlan. Oh, my God. Please, please excuse this wanton violation of your privacy business. Who else knows? From no one in my life, my secrets shall not be contained. Please, please. <laughs> Have a drink. No, go ahead.
Contessa. Uh, Miss Gofka, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, look, see, my life savings are stuck in that hellhole. My apartment. Have you ever been to Los Angeles? No, that's uh, the gold city of Los Angeles. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Would you like to take a little trip there? And and the lily woman. this damn thing fixed before those people come at 8 o'clock. Maybe you'll be too busy fixing something else to find the time. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> what are we going to do about this situation? You're going to tell the Contessa to cook with her window open. Seriously, Lil? Well... I'm going to bleach my hair blonde like Marilyn Monroe. And you're going to get a job in Lake Pocono. And we're going to have a bungalow and a canoe. A wooden one, not one of those metal jobs by the aircraft company. Whatever you say. I can't talk to you with that thing on. I'm converting to a Catholic. Like your mother, Lillian. And I'm converting to a blonde. Oh, well, no. <laughs> You're already pretty blonde. What a lovely compliment. I mean a real blonde. Oh, that's nice. You know, I think you should have a corsage. Well, on Sunday, when, when we go to see the priest, listen, I, I'm going to uh, call Father Reardon because I, I, I got to make a confession. Nobody makes confession over the telephone. But, but I want to be forgiven. I want you to have everything. I don't want everything. All I want is a man who loves me, treats me nice. Oh, God, Lillian. Let me just... Let me hold you, huh? Like... Like when, when you were a little girl. Fourth floor, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, there you have it, Contessa. It looks real grand. Beautiful, Mr. Larry. Oh, it's beautiful. I guess now you're all set. Ah, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Florescue. Alfonso and Janet. How are you? Folks around here call me Larry. Madame? You see, I knew it. My lovely Baron and the Baroness. Finally come, and the 
man who suffers asleep. Oh, he'll be mine soon. <laughs> and the Gare de Versailles. And the lily rising from the icy water pond. <gasps> oh. Um, Contessa Viridiana Govka. What admirable and pleasant ones. Well, uh, shall we have a look at the apartment? <sighs> Bo Peep! Bo Peep! Don't you think there's one thing we ought to take care of? I can only think of one thing. Think I'm uh, strong enough? Well, when you get tired, I'll take over. I haven't carried you over the threshold yet. <laughs> Even unpacked. Mm. <laughs> what? Leave this stuff out in the hall. Nobody's gonna bother with it. Let's get the bed down. Uh <laughs> <laughs> what about Mr. Long? Like he said, it just takes a few good raps with a hammer. Was it right at the bottom, right where the elevator opens? Mm -hmm. The whole basement is the boiler room. Look. If you want me to come with you, I'll... No, it's okay, Alfie. You get the stuff unpacked for the bathroom. And don't waste your energy. What a morning. I just, uh, I lived on the... Well, I was walking by and I couldn't help overhear that you needed a hammer. Damn bed stuck. Well, uh... Oh, the, the soup is not around, so I, I uh... I figured you could borrow mine. Great. 
Maybe between the two of us, we can uh, crack this safe. Maybe. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 